It's okay, Ashlyn. Sure, sure, the honey cake that you made ended up getting completely wrecked. And sure, now, don't you come in here and complain about that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> and sure, the gift that you were going to go ahead and give Rocky after he got back from doing his community service is kind of gone. But I'm sure that you'll still be able to find something to offer him. Uh, also, you know, hey, she did make the bed. That's right. So there's at least that. We ended up spending all of our money not on going ahead and getting the microscope or the equipment for the rope like the uh the rocket ship like ashlyn really wanted uh and you know you really wanted but she wanted to help out so she actually got rocky a new bed and i love the idea that because she's doing the knitting skills she just really wanted this one isn't it freaking cute but all right so hello everyone welcome back uh we're feeling a little bit exhausted and a little bit miserable and also the dust bunnies blessed be the what where are my my dust bunnies Where am I? Where are my dust bunnies? And what is this? What is, oh, this is the toy that the dust bunny found us. You can't just, you can't just leave this toy in my life and then disappear, little dust bunny, come back. Oh my gosh. You guys, can it get too dirty for dust bunnies? Is that something that can happen? Also, there's 24 like straw babies in here. What do, how do I? How, how does one take care of getting 24 strawberries? You know what? I think we're going to have to just sell these uh, because I don't know how to get them out of our inventory otherwise. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of money. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of money. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's a lot of money. Ashlyn, we might be able to go ahead and save this day after all. And even though I do want to go ahead and get her the microscope, these two are feeling pretty miserable because it's been so dirty. So you know what? You know what? We're going to pivot and we're going to, because we lost the dust bunnies, I'm having a really hard moment about that right now, to be completely honest. I am more than a little sad about that. Uh, okay. But if we lost the dust bunnies, then that's it. I'm getting ourselves something to be able to keep this place clean. This is not where I thought we were going to be going, by the way. And I'm not talking about a vacuum. Oh no, my friends. Oh no. I'm talking about a slime. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about a slime vacuum. And you guys might be going, what? Siri, what? But there we go. <laughs> this is actually a slime vacuum I found whilst perusing about on um, the Cursed Forge Sims 4 mods. I'm going to have to really, really, really dig through my, my like, everythings to be able to figure out who it is um, that made this, but I sincerely love it. <laughs> And now it can go ahead and start cleaning things up. And we still have a little bit of money left. Not enough money, alas, to go ahead and get what Ashlyn really wants to snag, which is the brand new tiny microscope. But we're getting there. We're getting there. All right. So hopefully this will this will start working. And we can rename the slime vacuum. Oh my gosh, that's so freaking adorable. I'm going to say that Rocky found this slime and he's going to be giving it to her how he is going to give her the slime to say thank you for going ahead and actually oh good we can beat this frog for going ahead and actually like um trying to make him a honey cake this is again not where i thought we were going with this let's go ahead and he's gonna he's gonna give her because a romantic gift of a whirly flower frog to say that he found this slime thing on his way back from like who knows where that it probably i love the idea that it climbed out of the river that we still haven't purified <laughs> of all of those alien things that got lost uh and meanwhile Arbanoi. oh there you go ashlyn oh there see Hopefully that will help her feel a little bit better because right now she's currently miserable because it's so messy and she's so hungry. Aww, but I love the idea that they're trying to make it smell a little bit better with the rose. They very rarely get a chance to flirt. Um, Ashlyn gave Rocky a gift along with a romantic message. You are my heart, my soul, my treasure, my today, my tomorrow, my forever, my everything. Aww, I wonder if like aliens just really take this sort of thing very, very seriously. So let's have her, whoops, I, well, I didn't mean to have her confess attraction actually. So we'll just let that happen. 
I was trying to give a romantic gift so that we could complete the community service for her. Um, she did get him that rock climbing so that he could start reading about rock climbing because he's an adrenaline thrill seeker, even though he cannot currently rock climb because he's pregnant. <laughs> yep, see. Oh my goodness. That's adorable. You know, they have not had enough time to even interact at all. So I'm actually very, very happy about this. There we go. And I'm going to send her off to go take care of her bladder. Now that these two have more or less... Oh, okay. So we still need to clean with Rocky. And, you know, he walked in. He's feeling super passionate. I think... Can I have him... Yeah, I'm going to have him appreciate the bed. Like, yeah. All right. Oh, oh that's adorable. Okay. I, I don't mind a free rose, personally. <laughs> Okay, it's just normal quality rose. I think that that's fine to go ahead and pop out of their inventories. Uh, I could have sworn that she got a rose too. Yeah, look, look at that. Aww. So I think they're just kind of being a little bit cute and flirty. Um, where's Rocky going? So yeah, I want him to appreciate the bed. Ashlyn, you do not have to go all the way upstairs and outside when there's like a nice toilet right over here. Uh, oh yeah, and I keep forgetting we could probably upgrade those things, but she is not in the mood to even think about that right now. Uh, but yeah, so welcome back everyone. <laughs> I did not plan. Oh, look at him. Oh, this is so cute. Is this how he gets to appreciate it? That's actually adorable. Cause he kind of gets to just be like, yeah, all right. There's something here. Oh, and do we have a new, do we have a new? Lovers! To be in love is a beautiful thing. A jam-tastic gift. Rocky remembers fondly receiving a gift from Ashlyn. He was in canned. You are my jam. Aww! I don't know how she ended up having- or he ended up like- yeah, both of them actually feel like that was a jam-tastic gift. It wasn't even jam. Wow. Well, you know, I'm not gonna complain. Can he eat a blueberry in bed? Because that would be kind of funny. He can. Oh my gosh. You can eat while sitting in the bed? <laughs> Well, everyone, yes, welcome, welcome back. Ashlyn here, she's going ahead and she's going to sleep in that little spot, no less. I was going to have her come and, like, sit with us and maybe just, like, appreciate it together. But I guess if she's going to bed there, uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to name our little slime vacuum. Wow. Um, I kind of want to name it, like, Frago or something after... Ah, uh, something after like Animal Crossing characters for some reason. Um, hmm, hmm. There's Korox. Dang it, I shouldn't overthink this. So we're gonna name it Choo Choo. There we go. I was trying to remember Choo Choo. There, from the little Choo Choo slimes that pop around our uh our Tears of the Kingdom adventures. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead so we can upgrade Choo Choo eventually. And we'll have to see what that does. But can we start the cleaning routine with him? I'm really upset about my dust bunnies, but that means that we didn't befriend them in time for them to go ahead and want to stay. Uh, and then let's have Rocky go ahead and I want him to weed, harvest these, and then weed. He's at risk of losing his close-knit lifestyle. Uh, also his adrenaline-seeking lifestyle. Uh, keeps good friends for longer, but has a harder time staying friends with sense at lower relationship. Can ask to be confidant and gain unique flavor socials with confidant. Tense without friends or when friend groups grows to t four or more. Well, he he actually wants to be like really popular with the whole world, but you know, we've kind of just ended up in this position. What was that? You better not be messing with my 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 little adorable dust bunnies. <gasps> my dust bunny. It's back! Oh my gosh! I need to go ahead and we need to name it. We need to befriend it. I'm gonna name it Button. Oh, si oh, Cinnabon. That's so cute. That's ridiculous. Cinnabon. Oh. And it was like the little dust bunny from under the bed. Oh, geez. I'm just getting way too excited about like everything. You know what? Cinnabon, like if we had been doing baking, that would have been fun. Hmm. Cinnabon, though. What a cute name. Oh my gosh. But I want to go with um, Bundleweed. 
uh, because it bun bundle weed, uh, because it's like a bundle of dust, but also tumbleweeds. Since uh, let's see, we are out in the desert esque area, so we got to take good care of bundleweed. <laughs> I I don't know what happened to our last dust bunny, but I I fear for it, um, and hopefully it won't be messed with by the slime. Slime is not allowed to harm bundleweed. I, 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 guys, come on. We're currently going ahead and we have a man pregnant with an alien baby, like pruning the weeds off of his perfect cherry bush from a cherry that he got while fighting a tap dancing spider. While a dust bunny that we are going to pretend is the same dust bunny as we had before is just over here, like hanging out with us <laughs> next to a bunch of dust sprites next to a, a robot slime that's going around and cleaning up our, our house. This is ridiculous. I know there's a lot of complaints to be had for things that could happen in The Sims of the Four, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> I I have zero complaints because this is just ridiculously fun. Uh, all right, let's... Hi, little one. Bundleweed, I've got to feed you all of the dust because I do not want to lose you again. Aw, and now we're feeling imaginative from appreciating things. Well, Bundleweed, just please don't get eaten by the slime. Uh, oh, and we, but we found another toy. <gasps> oh, is it in our inventory this time? It is. It's the fuzzy Ozzy toy. A little hamster. <laughs> ah, how could you not love the dust bunnies? I mean, look at them. Oh my gosh. So the fuzzy Ozzy toy, it looks like it is a little hamster. <laughs> it supports children. Toddlers, infants, imagination, social creativity. It's for the baby that's on the way. Oh, okay. That makes me very happy. All right. Well, this is not what I thought I was going to be spending my night doing. <laughs> and we actually have much more important things to do, including showing you guys these new boxes that I have to go ahead and store all of the supplies for the hopefully future nectar we're going to be making. Ah, <laughs> Um, but we haven't had the energy to make the nectar, so hopefully the new bed is going to help. Meanwhile, over here at the Rocky Appleseed Nectar Spot, we do actually now have some lightly aged apple nectar that has gone up to 110 in price. And we also have um, just some not aged 55 simoleon apple nectar. And we're going to need to keep an eye on that because, you know, Rocky does have... <laughs> The expert nectar maker desire, but he's a far, far away away from being able to accomplish that. So we're just going to let him keep focusing on, you know, being popular, which also hasn't been working, but uh, we're getting there. Oh, hey, Ashlyn, you woke up. Still miserable. I mean, uh, is it because you're hungry? She made a adorable little honey cake and then unfortunately said honey cake. Uh, she can get some cheese at least. Yeah, she's hungry. All right, well, let's see what happens with these two. We're off to bed with Rocky. There we go. And now maybe he can finally get a good night's sleep and recover his energy faster because he has just been sleeping in this very uncomfortable sleeping bag for eons upon eons. Um, I'll clean this up for you, my dear. Uh, and then can I have her go ahead and maybe... Um, oh, she can knit by his side while he sleeps. <gasps> That's so cute. Can she sneak in here? Because if she could go ahead and share this big comfy bed, maybe from an alien point of view, you don't leave like the optimal nest empty, right? Community service is over. And it was... <gasps> yes! They're not officially a couple yet. Rocky's wanted to make that happen, but then I I feel like maybe he would want to... He's an adrenaline thrill seeker. I feel like he'd want to do it in some sort of fancy way. But yes! Finally, these two can have a good night's sleep. Also, how long does it take our poor little, like... Oh, my good gravy. I thought that the, the slime was going to be able to do something. So, auto-clean on. Uh, auto-clean every 12 hours at this stage because there's a lot that needs done. And then install micro incinerator. Uh, 
And then synchronized core chromometer. It would be nice if I knew what those were before I, I did that. And then we can start cleaning routine, empty the trash. Is it just full? Uh, add gizmo redundancy, add gyro compactor. Oh my goodness, install sonic dampeners, waterproof mechanisms. <laughs> This is definitely more complicated than I was expecting. But all right, so my goal today was actually to go ahead and have Ashlyn haul bunny hunkers into town and visit a marketplace so that we could go ahead and have her sell all of these wonderful produce pieces that she has collected. Oh my gosh, it's already morning. Oh, the birds are singing because we need some money to fuel a bunch of our adventures. And by the way, <laughs> I found out how you actually hire a ranch hand. For some reason, it it's right here. I don't know why it wasn't anywhere else. We're never hiring a gardener again because that was an absolute joke. But we could go ahead, and I like the idea, we could put down a little sign and hire a ranch hand. Um, Man, I wonder if I can show bill information. I mean, tax breaks and penalties. I don't know why we haven't paid our bills, but I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to leave that alone. Uh, and I was going to have her go ahead and haggle by taking all of these whirly frogs and selling them maybe in front of like a little science place. Maybe like uh, there's a small research station that hopefully isn't researching aliens that she could go ahead and visit. Uh, and then I was going to make a, a, a corral. It is time to corral a certain Rocky so that he can focus on our horse skills. So here's what I'm thinking. We're going to try hiring a ranch hand again because they will actually maintain the garden and take care of the animals for us and let us keep the produce. So then we can go ahead and have Ashlyn focus on trying to make some money and working on getting her own riding skill up because we're going to need somebody to ride Rocky to be able to get his endurance up. And then I was thinking of also making a corral, a literal corral that I could lock Rocky and Hercules into so they could stay focused on working on these and I can have a nice comfy chair, maybe even a rocking chair that Rocky can sit in while he reads a book about horse-like training because he cannot actually ride his horse to get the horse training skill up anymore. <laughs> Oh yeah, and we also got a little house over here for Geppetto. I'm very happy about that because Geppetto deserves a little bit of attention after everything that they have been through for so long. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to make that happen. Hey, Rocky. Also, by the way, uh, chat with three. Go out on the town, travel to a bar club. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Uh, eat food. Oh my gosh. So I think he wanted to go out to eat something. <gasps> Maybe we don't eat the... <sighs> cake was still in there. That's so funny. You know what? I bet that maybe because Ashlyn is starting to really get into uh, like human food, maybe she'll do a little research and realize like, Rocky, it's actually not optimal for you to be eating cake all the time. It seems human biology is not really meant for that. Uh, and I wonder if she'll start making like some healthier meals to try and help him out. And Rocky, by the way, is still dazed because he still doesn't believe that he's actually pregnant. He's just like, yeah, look at this. Look at this. See? I mean, you can't blame you can't blame a guy for putting on a little bit of weight when uh, I'm eating cake for breakfast every day. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! Well, now he's feeling inspired, huh. and I wonder who Tree is. Like, from being an acquaintance, do we know Tree like very well? Hello, Tree Kaufman. Good compatibility. Uh, so we are repulsed by each other, but we want to chat to him. Interesting. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna let it happen, because why not? Uh, but yeah, so that's a lot of stuff to cover. Good gravy. And I, I'm really worried about our little dusty guy now. Let's go ahead and feed him and maybe ask him for valuables. Uh, but it looks like we finally had a good night's sleep. Like, a full good night's sleep for the very first time. That's amazing. We haven't had that happen at all for either of them in a very long time. And I'm beginning to think maybe we should even expand the bathroom. <laughs> So that maybe they could even shower a little easier, or at least we could see more of what's going on in here. Maybe we could put some of the frogs that we breed in as decoration. Uh, yeah, there's a lot happening, just saying. Oh, did we finish chatting already? Or not? I guess we just really wanted to go ahead and spend time with Bundleweed. Not that I blame you. Uh, found a toy hidden in the clutter. 
They just keep finding- Oh, it's so cute. Oh my good- Oh. Oh. Cinderella mouse. I- 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 The Bosley Bot Collectible Toy. The year 2013 saw the rise of Bosley Robotics, a company brim brimming with inspiration. They were guided by unwavering belief in their CEO, Bill Bosley's vision of the future of Samanity. Bill promised to be the evolutionary spark to merge man and machine, and he had the wherewithal to put those plans into motion. It was not meant to be, though. A government advisory committee on ethics and technology convened, and a quorum, deter uh, and a quorum determined that the proposed next step in evolution was a radical departure from the morals that drive sim culture. During the proceedings, Bosley Robotics put the friendly faced robotic toy on the market and gave the company a softer image and rebranded itself as family friendly, but the effort proved futile in swaying public officials. Not only were his ideas branded as quixotic, but they were further rated EC10 condemned and the company's research laboratories were torched by a team of sweepers. Oh my good gravy. Well, maybe we won't give that to the baby, but maybe it's actually a good thing for aliens, I guess. Um, that's actually really funny. I, I actually think that's that's hilarious because maybe again maybe he actually had something to do with some alien technology eh also back here is where one day i am going to work on the mining skill for crying out loud because i'll probably make us a ton of money uh and i'm keeping some of the tools the upgrade things the soy wax the beeswax that ashlyn might use to craft things in the future oh my gosh we just have so much going on don't we all right well thank you little one um and then what are you doing over here no, don't go bird watch. Why don't you go ahead and like throw this away? I know community service starts tomorrow. I legitimately have just gone around in a circle at this stage. Ashlyn, how are you, my dear? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so we kind of didn't leave the cave. We've got a whole, you know what? Fine. I'm spending the rest of right now in the cave. If that's how this is going to be. No, no, no. You can't bird watch. I, if that's how this is going to be. I'm going to have you take care of everything here. And because our poor little slime, like, appears to have been overwhelmed, we need to go ahead and empty its little trash in just a second. And and fine, if you guys are going to keep me downstairs inside of this cave, we the cave that I think, now that I'm thinking about it, it probably wouldn't hurt to add, like, multiple bathrooms. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know what? We need a multiple bathrooms at this stage because these guys just... They're, they're always dying of bladder issues. Huh. Maybe I should sneak another toilet, like, right over here. I don't have anything else there right now. That actually sounds like a brilliant idea. <laughs> we can have Ashlyn make another one. Because um, I guess that would be a lot closer than the one that's actually down, down the cave tunnel. All right, fine. Honestly. You silly sims. Uh, and then let me go ahead and make sure that we have the right... Yeah, the right, whoops, ceiling tiles for that. If it, Like I said, fine. If they're going to keep me in the cave the whole time. Oh my gosh, the, the cottage door one is so cute. I need a one tile one though, or else everyone's going to freak. Uh, don't need a... Oh my gosh, the little heart. <laughs> I love the cottage doors. They're so cute. Uh, we can actually put the taller ones over here too because of uh, the height of our ceilings in our cave. Oh, I do love our cave. It's just fun, guys. Ooh, temple archway. We'll have to use that. Oh, we can we can mix and match the different archways as we expand our cave. Oh, I like that idea. That'll be fun. All right, never mind. I think we need a normal size door. Um, I want to pick a fun one. Did, have I gone down the rabbit hole and become a cave hermit today? Yes. Did I mean to? Absolutely not. I started introducing you guys to like the really complicated, complicated. Ah, oh no, I'm gonna name our our episode that. You guys are gonna see it. It's like maybe things don't have to be so complicated. Uh, all right, you know what? You guys are gonna make me go ahead and uh, and do this. Fine, fine, Sims. I'm making you put in a stained glass window for a tiny little itty bitty room that's just going to be there so that you can have another little toilet. Also, I know these rocks are gonna make you angry. And then you'll say, oh, I can't reach it, but we'll see if you can do it. I try I believe in you. <laughs> All right, so let's put in a candle. Oh, I wish I could have her go ahead and make her own candle at this stage. I can't believe I've made things so complicated. Okay, there's a little oil lantern. Oh no, now I'm starting to get ideas about like, oh, what if I put a little shelf in here? <sighs> 
Because then I could put in some incense. But who puts... I mean, I guess some people put incense in the bathrooms. And I mean, you know, now it's looking kind of boring. And this is why we don't ever have enough money to get things done, isn't it? This is why. Because one thing leads to another. And then you have, like, Siri talking to herself for ages as I debate what shelf, what tiny little shelf would be fun. Oh my gosh, it's a cute little book. Uh, while I debate what tiny little shelf would be fun to put into my cave bathroom. Like, it's just, it's just silliness. Why are, what, why are any of us here, actually? Like, I was gonna say, why are you here? But then I was like, wait, why am I here? Why are any of us here? Um, that's actually kind of cute, because this one looks sort of like a little beam holding the cave together. And then we're going to come in with the money that we don't have to spend. And then let's see all the cute things. Oh, look at all the little candles. Oh, and if we put a candle and then the candle burns down, we could go ahead and we could have our lovely Ashlyn make us a new candle. Oh my gosh. Um, that'd be adorable. Wow. Wow. I really have made this too complicated. <laughs> oh my gosh. This angle really up. No, this is so cool. Oh, it doesn't even light up anymore. It's been ages since Jewelster used to do her mods, but you know what? Oh, it fits. Oh, oh my gosh. This, this sucker is about to become absolutely everywhere. Absolutely everywhere in our Sims adventures, like in the caves. It's perfect. It's perfect. All right, this was ridiculous. I can't believe that I have gone ahead. Uh, and I, I mean, here we are. <laughs> and I'm still trying to figure out how to put in like a little bit of incense for our lovely Sims to have in this cave bathroom that I have bequeathed upon them. Cause why not? <laughs> But you know what? I hope that this was maybe encouraging for all of you to to maybe say, you know what? That does sound fun, Siri. Siri it does sound fun to just go ahead and and just release my inner chaos, my inner chaos, uh, and then have only 11 simoleons left when you needed hundreds of simoleons for other things. Uh, we can't afford to light our own. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this very silly adventure. If you guys could, do please leave a like for Rocky and for poor, poor Ashlyn as I continue to struggle to try to get them from point A to point B and just get anything done. Oh, did I show you guys that I added a really cute little log? I like it. I'm hoping they'll sit down and have cute little conversations on it. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.